Hello, today we have an interesting maths problem and this maths problem, as you can see, it involves the use of powers that is uh, 0 to power 3 and also we have 0 to power 0. Now, so this is what you want to solve. So if you know you are strong in mathematics or you are strong in advanced mathematics, you can give your answers on the comment section, the answers that shall have looked when working it out. So as you work it out, please remember to do away with the calculators because at the end of the day, we shall confirm if you really know how to work it out on the comment section. So with me, uh, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to this channel because it is what motivates me to keep on going and also make sure you like and share. So like, share and subscribe to the channel. So I want us to, be, uh, to begin uh, working it out. So we have 0, uh, zero to power of 3 minus 0 to power of 0. So what is the answer? Which answer do we get now? Now, let me give you a hint on some of the choices that you're likely to, to get. So this is the hint. So the hint, the answers that uh, I shall expect you to have got is either, so either 0, Oh, so this one is the first choice so we can say this one is choice A so uh, the next choice choice B is this other one minus 1 so that is choice B or choice C now becomes undefined 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 so that is choice, choice C so the hint to this question here is is uh, choice a that is zero minus one that is b then choice c now becomes undefined so let's now start working it out so let's now start with the solution to this maths problem so on the solution part let's write it so we have zero to the power of three minus or subtract zero to the power of zero so what is the answer here in this case now, so let me take to you step by step within the shortest period of time, we shall be done by this. So, 0 to the power of 3 simply means that in you put, you have 0, you multiply it 3 times. So, even when you multiply 0 3 times, you shall still end up with the result that is 0. So, meaning that 0 to the power of 3, so we shall say this one is equals to 0 to the power of 3 is 0. Then from there, we minus here, that is 0 to the power of 0. Now, if you, this one you can work it out off head, or if you still don't know how to work it off head, now I can allow you to work, to use your calculators so that you can work out 0 to the power of 0. So when you work out 0 to the power of 0, you shall have 1 as the, as the answer. So, meaning that, how do we keep this on the calculator? So on the calculator, you shall just key in 0. So this one is your calculator. Just key in 0. Then you shall find to the power of a sign like that. Then from there you key in uh, 0. So you shall find that the answer now becomes, becomes the positive 1. That is 1. Or some calculators can have x, then, then y. So you key in 0 as x, then y to the power of 0. Then you shall give uh, it shall give you uh, positive one so when you work out this this solution that is zero minus one we shall have negative one as the as the correct answer now so uh, according to the choices that i gave i gave choice uh, choice a choice b and choice c so those who got choice b is correct so those who got choice A, it's not correct, because uh, zero to the power of zero to the power of uh, three minus zero to the power of zero is not zero. So it is negative negative one. Or those who got it undefined. Undefined simply means that it's it's impossible for you to to work out zero to the power of zero. So the choice could be negative one, or you can say it is undefined. For an example, in in maths uh, basics, you've learned that if you're given a number like 2, 2 to the power of 3, how do we work it out here? 
now you shall have these two then meaning that because it is the power of three you have to multiply it uh, how many times three times that is one two three so from here now we shall have two multiplied by two which is four then four multiplied by two is eight so two to the power of three is eight so that's the same thing that you've done here zero to the power of three that is zero multiplied by zero by zero that gives us zero now in also basic maths you've also tried to learn that uh, in, in in maths reality we can have zero divided by by six zero over six this is okay then we cannot have this other one six over zero so meaning that this one is undefined while this one is is the correct maths operation or the correct maths procedure while having six over zero is not the correct maths procedure so that's why we say that when working out zero to, to the power of three minus zero to the power of zero is undefined simply means that it is unrealistic for us to have zero to the power of, to the power of zero that's why we say that the answer is minus one or we can say that the answer is undefined so that is what i had for you this time so if you really love this video please just hit the like subscribe and share so that this video can reach to a large number of people so let's stop there i was your host teacher john thank you until next time